Good morning, you guys. What is up? Welcome back to my channel. So, today it is September 19th, and it's pretty early in the morning. It's still super foggy out, and um, it's like 10 a.m. I just got dressed, ready, showered, and cleaned up, and hit the road early because today I'm going to be getting a new tattoo, and not just any tattoo. I'm going to be going to a tattoo artist that I've been wanting to get tatted by for such a long time, and I'm literally driving two hours to go to um, his shop, and I'm so fucking pumped. You guys, I'm getting a chest piece, and I've been wanting to get a chest piece for so long, because I have my arms done, I have my neck, I have fucking face, and some of my legs, and it's beyond due that I get my chest done. And I've been holding out to go to this guy specifically because he does like such great work. Me and this tattoo artist have literally followed each other for about two years now and we've communicated back and forth for a long time and just been like mutuals. So I'm really excited to meet him and just I'm going to film a time lapse of the tattoo when I get there so you guys can see the whole process and it's going to be super dope. And I just, I'm, I'm so pumped. So yeah, I have about an hour left of driving. Also, I have a cold sore on my lip. I'm just gonna call that out right now because I can already see the fucking herpes comments coming. And I don't know why I get these, but every fall during like September and October, I get a fucking cold sore on my lip. And I've gotten this since middle school. And it's always been a thing I've dealt with during this time of the year. And I don't know why. You guys i just left the tattoo shop and i literally came straight to chipotle because that took it out of me i got there at like 11 and i didn't leave until 4 it was like way longer than i expected but this shit looks so fucking good this is probably like my favorite tattoo that i have i'm like sad that it has to be covered anyways i am like dead after that i have like a headache i'm sleepy and i'm starving halfway through it um i like got up and I hadn't, like, I had, like, some Dunkin' before I went there, but I didn't eat, like, a lot of food. I was, like, so, like, just, like I was, like, sweaty when I walked, and, like, I was, like, out of it. And I definitely did not eat enough before I went. But holy shit, I just went to Chipotle, got a big-ass burrito, bitch. Look at this fucker. I got this double-wrapped, and it is the, um, asado, asade, carne asade, I don't fucking know. And oh, I fucking need this. This is gonna bring me back to life. I also had to get a side of queso. Brother, queso is so good. And fucking cheesy and hot. Mm. I already know you guys are gonna ask about the pain on this tattoo. And honestly, I went into it expecting it to be like a 10 out of 10. But it was more like a fucking like 4 or 5 out of 10 because the way that he does the like his style of tattoos is so dainty and nice and just fucking beautiful he has like angelic fingers so it was really like a four or five on the paint scale of out of, out of ten and i just i've had my ribs done already and i was expecting that brutal fucking pain but it wasn't that the tattoo artist i went to his name is bradley <clears throat> and his instagram is kane tattooer bro he is so fucking good you guys definitely got to go follow him and hit him up if you're ever in tennessee and you want some tats he's the guy to go to all right you guys i finally got home it is like nine o'clock i think it's getting pretty fucking late i just went to the store and i bought um, some soap so I can clean my tattoos. This is the stuff that I've used on all my tattoos. It's the foamy kind and I use the clean and gentle dial. This shit is so good for your tattoos. It's what I swear by. So I'm gonna take this shit off and take the plastic off my tattoo. You guys, this looks so fucking good. Oh my God, this might be my new favorite tattoo. My Kurt is definitely my favorite, but this, bro, this is a close second. I, oh, rip this shit off real quick rip me out the plastic I've been acting brand new bitch <laughs> imagine if this was like right on my nipples and was just like ripping them off <laughs> okay you guys the chest piece goes crazy I'm already looking at all the other blank spaces that I have and I, I just I need more I want this to be all filled in 
and I'm gonna definitely get to work on that, bro. I'm gonna wash this up and get some aquaphor on it, and then I'm gonna make um, some nice dessert. So a few days ago, I bought this at Trader Joe's. It's cinnamon roll blondie bar baking mix, and I love blondie bars. They're so fucking good, especially when you bake them a little extra longer and they get crispy on the edges. And I'm gonna top it with this Trader Joe's cinnamon bun spread. I think this is gonna go so well together. I've never made this before, so I'm gonna make this for a little late night treat and reward for sitting through this fucking tattoo. Honestly, it wasn't bad at all. As you can see, it looks and sounds like piss. Wow, this is actually coming together really nice. This is what my shit looks like after I drink kombucha. I just finished cooking this blondie. It looks so fucking good. I put the cinnamon bun spread on top. I'm also not wearing a shirt because I don't want to irritate this. And I want to show it off. I might not ever wear a shirt again, honestly, because this shit is so tight. This looks so good. I love blondies. Cheers. Oh yeah, this shit box. Good morning, you guys. So it is two days later from the last clip you have seen. Um, my tattoo is healing really nicely. I literally keep forgetting that I even got it because he was so gentle with it. And it was like, I just can't get over how like not painful it was and like how smooth the whole process went. And like the healing is going really smooth. It's so nice. Probably like one of the best tattoo experiences I've ever had in my life. Um, so definitely go check them out, you guys. Anyways, today is September 21st and it's like 11 in the morning. I woke up early this morning because I've been wanting to go to Dollywood so bad. I haven't been to Dollywood since I was probably 13 or 14 years old. It's been like a decade since I've been. And growing up, um, if you didn't know, Dollywood is like an amusement park in Tennessee. It's in like the Gatlinburg, Sevierville area and Dolly Parton owns it and it's just it's magical. I don't really have a fear of heights or anything. Like I've always liked roller coasters. Um, and I really want to take my phone on the roller coaster and like vlog my reaction, but I'm afraid it's going to like fly out of my hand. However, um, a few days ago I did order the new iPhone 15 Pro Max and it says it's going to ship out tomorrow because tomorrow's the day that the new iPhones come out. I'm going to try to do like an unboxing review video of that when I get that in the mail. All right, y'all, I just parked. This bitch Dolly charged me $25 to park my car. I'm like, what the hell? <laughs> Which is fine, I don't care. Um, holy shit, I'm so excited. All right, you guys, so we're here at Dollywood. This is like the entrance area, and there's like this nice sign over there that says Dollywood with like pumpkins around it. It's so cute, and it's honestly not that busy here today. You guys, I just got this big ass hot dog and it has like cabbage on top or something with potatoes. It looks really good. I paid like $12 for this. So I'm gonna try it out with you guys. I literally don't know what the fuck this shit is. You guys, I loved how the first thing I do when I get here is get food. I haven't even wrote anything yet. You guys, I'm about to go on Mystery Mine. This is my absolute favorite ride uh, here at Dollywood. It's very lit. This fucking ride is so amazing. I remember when they first opened this and I rode it when I was in like middle school. Bro, it's so intense. You fucking go out of here and then you drop down here really quick and then you just like, it throws you everywhere. I almost had like a headache by the time it was over and then at the end you're like upside down for a few seconds and it is so badass. You gotta ride this if you go to Dollywood. Okay. Again? The Carl. airbrush dude, Carl, the Carl. airbrush dude. Hell yeah. All right, here we go. You ready? Yeah, I'm ready. All right, I got this shirt for you. Look at this. Dude, that's actually sick. You dig that, bro? Yeah, that's awesome. Catching that, catching that style, though. Yeah, yeah it's Fuck project yeah. fine. You I guys, did this earlier this year, so. 
you guys are at Dollywood, you gotta stop by this booth. Yeah. Airbrush dude. Yeah, buddy. It's so cool. <laughs> Check me out. Well, I appreciate it. This is for you, dog. Just to even take a photo of me, dog. I All right, cool. It. Thank you. I really appreciate, appreciate it. it. All right, you guys. So I just went and picked up some cinnamon bread. Literally everyone told me to get this while I'm here. And I've never had it before. So I bought it. It was like 10 bucks. And it has like icing with it. And this like package is really fucking hot. Um, so this must be fresh and it's like very greasy. So I'm gonna try this. I don't really care for sweets that much, but bro, look how much fucking cinnamon bread they gave me. I, there's no way I'm gonna be able to eat all of this, but I'm gonna try. Cheers. Bro. This is amazing. It's 10 out of 10. They like make it in front of you so it's all fresh in the store. It's definitely worth the money. And if you're with like a group of people, there's like more than enough to fucking share. I've ran into five of you guys today. And if I run into another, I'm gonna offer some cinnamon bread up because this is, there's just so much here. All right, you guys, so it is like four o'clock now. I finally left Dollywood. I. I had so much fucking fun and I ran into so many of you guys. I didn't expect to like run into anyone there. Like honestly, I didn't expect to get recognized at all. But I was stopped by like six of you guys and the one dude, he was fucking dope. He was so cool. He gave me the shirt because um, he did like airbrushing at Dollywood. And after I ate that cinnamon bread, I went back and found him and I gave him some cinnamon bread. Like I gave him like um, the rest of mine. and. Bro, he's just so fucking cool. So I'm, I'm glad I got to give him some some nice treats in exchange for the shirt because I just didn't want to take it for free, you know. And uh, him and like all the other workers were like eating cinnamon bread, like on me, and I, it was just so cool. They were so fucking sweet. And then everyone else I met was really sweet and nice too. So um, if you saw me there and came up to me, I really do appreciate it. It like it like made my day, and I did not expect it at all. So thank you. Um, I fucking love you guys and. Now, is that a lot to say? Yeah, I rode like a few rides. I honestly didn't stay as long as I usually would um, just because I was by myself. And bro, it, it's just, that was the first time I've been there by myself and it was 10 out of 10. If you ever are like too afraid to do something by yourself, just fucking do it anyways, because you'll not regret it. That was like, today was amazing. I fucking loved that so much. It was just so cool. All right, you guys, so it is like 7.30. I honestly made really good timings with, with like everything I did today. I got home before it even got dark. So hell yeah. I went to Trader Joe's, of course, and I got some groceries and I'm about to cook some chicken parm with you guys. I have not made chicken parm in such a long time and I can't fucking wait to make it. So I'm gonna give you guys a grocery haul of everything that I got. First things first, I got this, tr I got this Trader Joe's breaded chicken. I've never had this. Um, but when I was in the store, I looked up reviews on it and everyone said it was really good. So I'm going to make this and turn it into chicken parm. So I'm going to put that in the oven really quick. And then I also got two of these butter chickens. These are so fucking good. I eat like three or four of these a week, um, for like a lunch or dinner. And they're just so tasty and so easy to make. So I highly recommend getting these. They're like five bucks a piece. Not that bad. And I always eat the garlic um, non bread with it from Trader Joe's. So good, bitch. It is, it is amazing. And then I also got this. I've been really into this recently. It's so tasty and so easy to make. Um, it's beef and broccoli and it's just like frozen. Make this with some white rice for dinner and your mind will be blown. It's so easy to make and tasty. But you guys, I have had such a good day at Dollywood. Thank you to everyone who came up to me. Um, like I said earlier, that was so much fucking fun. Also, I am literally obsessed with this t-shirt that Carl gave me. Carl's the dude who ran up on me. I am like literally baffled that he gave me this for free. I was like, you want me to pay you? Like, I don't care to pay. Um, so I'm glad I got to give him that um, cinnamon bread uh, in return. So I'm gonna throw this chicken in the oven and get to cooking dinner. So excited. Also, you guys, I haven't had a cigarette in an entire week. I'm so proud of myself. I don't know the last time I've went a week without a cigarette since like 2017. It's like insane. Um, and I got this vape last week. And if it wasn't for this, I would have folded. But this has really helped me. You guys, look how fucking tasty this chicken came out. It smells amazing in here. And I got the noodles all cooked. So I'm about to plate this shit up. You guys, look at this fucking shit. Like, literally looks like I made this by hand. 
but I didn't. And it smells like amazing. So I'm gonna try this with you guys. Oh, my legs. I'm like so tired from walking all day throughout the park. I hope this chicken's nice and crunchy. I'll put it in the oven for extra long, put some cheese on top, marinara. Wow. It actually does taste like chicken parm. Like the perfect crunchy, the perfect taste without all the fucking work. Oh. This chicken parm is a lot of fucking work whenever you make it. It's fun, like I love cooking it but it's a lot of mess to clean up and just like work and things to buy. If I had to choose one last meal to ever eat, it would be this, like hands down. This is like one of my favorite meals and mac and cheese balls. Makes me wanna go to fucking Cheesecake Factory real bad. So I'm about to go watch a movie and eat this with Christian in the living room. And the past few days have been amazing. And I just can't thank you guys enough for coming along with me and watching my videos. And I love you guys so much. And a lot more videos um, are gonna be pumping out on this channel. I've been so motivated lately and just so happy in life. And I'm just grateful. So I love you guys. Have a good night.